Formula One is situated in the Thornybush Game Reserve, which is uh, in the Limpopo province of South Africa. We have six luxury suites, each with views over the, the Bushveld. Our Malawan suite and our Royal suite, the, the biggest suites in Africa. Fantastically decorated. The bedrooms are extremely spacious. The bathrooms are just as big as the bedrooms, which extend out onto a deck with their own plunge pools and a casita, which uh, has two relaxation areas. So great to sit out there during the day after your morning game drive and sit and just uh, listen to the sounds of Africa. The reserve forms part of this massive ecosystem known as the Greater Kruger Conservancy. It's an area with probably some of the greatest variety of, of animals. You can literally see all the big five here, leopards, lions, hyenas, everything that, that you read in storybooks, uh, all those animals, you'll, you'll get them here. The things that, that I've seen during a long career, you know, people will pay big bucks to see it. Um, you know, you think of the kills and things that people really want to see and I, I live that every day, so it's a, it's a dream come true. I've been working with Shadrach, my tracker, for about six years now and it's been the most amazing learning experience. Shadrach was herding cattle when he was three or four years old where the reserve is today. So obviously being out in the bush he would have to know which predators are in the area, how long ago they were there, which direction they moved in and that's how the tracking tradition starts. For him it's like reading a book. Being a guide involves a great variety of, of skills and, and knowledge, from the big five, the elephants, all the way down to the little insects and reptiles, and the stars, things like that. With that comes tracking, reading the signs, so you know where to look and what to look for and how long ago they were there. Okay. Obviously you don't just look at the actual footprint. Other things come into play, you have to use all your senses you listen for uh, warning calls of birds, you look at signs on trees where they may have rubbed, um, feeding signs, things like that. Um, so there's a whole host of things that come into play when you, when you are tracking an animal. White rhino is one of my favorite animals to, to track and follow on foot purely because you can sneak up on them. They have very poor eyesight and if you know what you're doing and you use the wind to your advantage you can sneak up and get real close to them and it's always a very rewarding and humbling experience to, to encounter a rhino at close quarters on foot. The rifle that I carry is a caliber 375. Uh, the 375 is the minimum requirement for bringing down big game. and It's, it's basically just for, for when the unexpected emergency does occur. So we received this call over the radio that there were fresh leopard tracks. Here we are, Stations of we were lucky enough to, to spot the tracks fairly, fairly early on. You know, leopards are some of the most challenging animals to track, but we, we managed to track it with, with great success and, and managed to see this beautiful young male. Leopards are by nature very elusive and it's, it's very rewarding to work at it and, and finally see the animal as well as we did. As we approached this leopard, we actually noticed that it had some impala in its sights and it was, it was actually stalking some impala. Being a young male, unfortunately, he wasn't very effective and, and very experienced at it and um, ended up hashing it and not, not getting dinner tonight. <laughs> 